going on guys? Two Real Geeks here today. We are actually at the Atlanta Botanical Gardens today. Other than a theme park, I know it has been a while, but we do it. So they have a whole Alice in Wonderland exhibit. They got some scarecrows up and some topiaries everywhere. This is going to be fun, relaxing, right? Let's go and enjoy this. This is what we walk into. All this and a giant Pegasus. That is so cool. But look at him, he's very detailed. He's got a snout and everything. I don't know what happened here. So sad. <laughs> but I guess they didn't want to leave because they had such a great time here. And they brought their pets with them. They took recycled goods and made that. That is so cool. No, we're not going to build a snowman. Little Picasso scarecrow. I don't think these are the scarecrows yet. Oh, they are. Okay. <laughs> So each of the scarecrows will have these on there and you can vote for your favorite one. Look at this guys. This little cat tribe. <laughs> that is awesome. With the cat sugar skull. This scarecrow is awesome. Is a wear crow. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorites so far. <laughs> um, Ned's head is in a jar. The Maleficent. You got Harry Potter. DJ Pink Floyd. Boom, boom, boom. Who's this guy? His name is Cinema Screams. It's pretty awesome. Check that out. He's back here. Looks like Skeletor. <laughs> like crows. I'll show you. It's pretty freaky. <laughs> Danny's over there taking his pictures with Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. That is so cute. A little stuck. <laughs> Oh poo. Oh bother. <laughs> oh, it's Mr. Peanut. <laughs> Mr. Peanut. He's got some little slippers on. And he's taking a little nap. And he's dreaming about the circus. <laughs> 
got a Mad Hatter that's called the Mad Catter. Green Lady. Really cool. Oh, oh how sad. There's a little washed out mermaid. She's not looking well. Really cool. And a jailbird. Check this out. <laughs> but look inside. Ah. It's, I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're like skeleton jaws. There's like teeth, molds of teeth in there. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. That's a fox spot. It's a little creepy dude up there. So wrong. Oh, he's such a hoot. We've got this conductor over here. With his musical instruments. Alright, you gotta walk this way. Even creeping off the side of the path. Such a creeper. Little freaks. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Giant Phoenix. Phoenix. <laughs> it's cool because he looks like he's got mazes on him, on his wings. Yeah. How to train your snapping dragon? <laughs> Your snapdragon. <laughs> awesome. Check this out. There's actually a restaurant inside the botanical gardens here. So this is uh, out of the norm for us, huh? Nice slow paced day. Not really. We haven't done anything like this in a little while. Right. But we do do things like this. Check this fountain out, that is so cool. I bet at nighttime that thing glows. And there's a jazz. <laughs> Just wandering off the beaten trail here. Jess, where are you going? Jess, where are you going? You might find a hobbit. It's a little Japanese garden, okay. Little ponds and bridges and lights. Jess is closing us in to the Japanese garden. Jess is no shall pass. <laughs> Jess has become the gatekeeper. Oh, hey buddy. What are you doing back there, playing your flute? So we found the Alice in Wonderland section. So we have found 
the Cheshire Cat. So this is Alice and the Cheshire Cat. So here's Alice lying down. Cheshire Cat's back there. skyline as you're inside of the botanical gardens here. Whoa, that is a giant plant up there. Straight ahead. This is the orchids. The orchids? Yes. Mm-hmm. It's a little misty over there. Walking into the jungle. rabbit is actually being transformed into a Christmas rabbit today. There's the clock. Because he's running late. Queen's chessboard. That is awesome. So much detail that went into all of this. Rabbit is massive. This is awesome. They even got the door. It does look like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Why? 
What are you talking about? Oh, those camels. These are some massive camels. Wow. And that man on that camel is massive too. They kind of do look like Christmas camels. It was surrounded by, wait, 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 wait. He's got a present on his side. Surrounded by some pumpkins. It's candy, giant candy. Massive camels. They spit. I see a dragon popping out from over there. It's never good when you see so a dragon. So looking around, this place has to be amazing at nighttime. They got lights everywhere. There's trees that light up. There's little light up things, all the toporaries light up too. We may have to come back here for Christmas. Yeah. See what I'm saying? More lights on the trees here. There's a massive dragon. Check out the size and the detail on him. That is amazing. Those wings are bigger than me. Wow. You are big there, buddy. You are a big dragon. I think it's huge. It is a big dragon. This is awesome. They've done an amazing job on all of these things here. If you can, come and check this out before they shut this down. Because it does shut down on the 27th. These temporaries do go away. They do start transforming more into Christmas at that point. But this is definitely worth coming to see. Check him out. He is so cool. There's the shaggy dog. Why does Jess always love to take us off the beaten track of concrete and civilization and all this? Yeah, you're supposed to be on concrete and civilization and not this. You're lucky it's daylight. Oh, I know, I'm lucky. See, this is what I'm talking about. Jess takes me off the beaten path and then all of a sudden, there's woolly mammoths that pop up. Hidden away in his natural habitat is a woolly mammoth. Check out the size of that thing, that is awesome. That is so cool. Look, we found one of Jess's friends, a llama. Right next to this dude. He's got some bad intentions right there. I want you guys to see, well, that was a leaf that just fell in front of the camera. <laughs> I want you guys to see who made an appearance here in the Botanical Gardens today. It's Curious George. 
and the man in the yellow hat. That's cool. I definitely, definitely got to come back for Christmas time. You see more Christmas lighting going up here and some trees going in. So, you get you guys some foliage and some holiday stuff going. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's some more trees lit up over there. That's what we were looking for. <laughs> wow, check that out. We got to go see that too. Right? <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's just nothing but lights hanging down up here. Yeah, we're all, in the trees all out here. everywhere in the trees. There's black netting going up top here, and it's just we're hanging. Strings, yeah. It must be so <laughs> yeah. This is going to look amazing for Christmas time. Definitely gonna go back here to cover that. Yeah, definitely coming back here. It might be cold, but we'll do it. Come here, Jess. Come here, Jess. Come have a look. There's not a fake fence, that's a real fence. Yeah. Look, just come look down. Look, watch. They're gonna look down. Look, see? Yeah, see they everybody just look down. It's Jess's turn to look down. Come on, Jess. Come on, Jess. Come on, Jess. Jess, what are you doing? Come on, Jess. <laughs> Jess, what are you doing? No. To the edge. To the edge. To the edge. Put your hand out there. Giant tree structure down there. The Christmas lights we were talking about are way up there to the tree, right? So I just told Jess that the botanical gardens Next year said that Jess can go and put those lights up by herself and make the Christmas for the people of Atlanta a nice, joyful, and bright Christmas. And she says this to me. Now that's not nice of Jess to say. Why? What are you doing, Jess? <laughs> so here's a preview of the Christmas lights going on. Christmas in October. Before Halloween, guys, this is the stuff that we do for you guys, okay? Just want you to see this. All these awesome Christmas lights going on in the daytime right now. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Granted, it's cloudy out and stuff. They do stuff at night also. Oh, it's a black tree. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome at nighttime. So yeah. Oh. That chipmunk was camera shy. Here he is, guys. He's a chipmunk. He's a chipmunk. Uh, he didn't want to be filmed. <laughs> Some more lights going on. Something smells so good over here. It smells like soap, like a really fancy soap. <laughs> I think the fancy soap is supposed to smell like flowers. It's supposed to smell like Disney. Fancy soap is supposed to smell like so Disney. So we are in the Cascade Gardens now.
is that final tulpary that we were looking for. And I have to say, it's very impressive. And like, this is actually without the flowers and stuff that she usually has in her. Right, that's... The structure, they're switching everything over for the For Christmas, right yes. So in the spring, she's a lot more color colorful. Right. And then we'll see what they're gonna switch it over to for... Christmas. Christmas. And honestly, if you look at nighttime, this whole area would probably be really nice to be lit up. So we actually found what she's gonna look like at nighttime. It looks like they're gonna light her up here with her hair, strings of lights, and then put the green back into her. I can't wait to see that. We got all these tunnels here, these light tunnels that are gonna be lit up here for Christmas. There you go, guys. The holiday, the garden lights, the holiday nights here, it's gonna start November 16th to January 5th. Definitely gonna be checking it's that out. It's a corn out. man with a crow. A unicrow. A unicrow. <laughs> that is awesome, I like that. I guess this was one deadly tea party. This is awesome. Matt had her white rabbit. Alice falling out of a teacup with the caterpillar behind him and the Cheshire cat. Hey, it's Bottle Man. That is awesome. This is really cool. Little sugar skull skeleton with her dress on there. Guys, I have found Mr. and Mrs. Pumpkin, the icons of Halloween. Of course, Jess has to meet them. Jess, of course, had to meet them. <laughs> Typical fashion of anywhere Jess and I go. Gift shop. The garden gift shop. Mmm, <laughs> smells Halloween y in here. Halloween merch. I have a whole section in here for Alice in Wonderland stuff. All the different Alice in Wonderland books. The original Alice in Wonderland book here too. That is cool. So you can actually make drinks from Wonderland. I'm curious about those cocktails, that's awesome. During, yeah, during the springtime, that is what she will look like. I'm more excited to see it in um, the holidays, yeah. No mouse pad for it. And they do have a puzzle of her too. All right guys, that's our trip to the Botanical Gardens here in Atlanta, definitely going to be back here. Um, holiday time, Christmas time, we're going to be back here. We like what we saw. This is our first time here too, so didn't realize how awesome this place really was. They have a lot of cool stuff going on right yeah. now. So like, especially in the next week or two, because the Alice in Wonderland is still going on. Like, as you saw, like things are kind of getting switched over for Christmas. So not everything might be exactly how it is normally for the exhibit. Right. They're all getting switched over and it still looks amazing, even the ones that, you know, aren't fully decorated right now. They're still really cool and safe. Um, so they have the Scarecrow exhibit going on along with Alice in Wonderland at the same time. Right, so Alice in Wonderland is ending on the 27th of October. I don't know for, exactly. Uh, Around November the, 2nd, something like that. November 2nd is the Scarecrows, is when the Scarecrows are ending. Uh, November 16th starts the holiday lights. So, we'll be back. But it was really cool. You guys should definitely check it out. It's totally worth it. Yes. And so for the next week or two, you can catch that overlap. Right. Right. Yeah. So guys, we out.